So, in this video, I'm going to use red cabbage to make my print, make my color. Um, the reason I'm going to use that is because red cabbage, uh, you can get a lot of color from it. It's, when I open it up, you'll be able to see it is a lovely purple color. But the beautiful thing about the cabbage, other than this, just the, the wonderful structure you see, um, is it's a pH indicator. It's a natural pH indicator. So that means that if I add a bit of lemon juice to it, something acid, it will turn red. And if I add something like bicarbonate of soda, which is more alkali, it should turn blue. So we're going to use that to print with today. Now it's important to cool down the liquid after you have used it because when you add your corn flour or your rice flour or whatever you're adding you need to add it to a cool liquid and you probably need to measure it out. The measurements for corn flour are 1 to 7 and you can see here I've used 2 to 14 to make enough to use for um, the printing I wanted to do. With, like I said before, with rice flour, you would probably, if you've seen in my other videos, you would probably add that to a smaller amount of liquid first, just to dissolve it into it at colder temperature. And then if you wanted, you could add it to a hot liquid. That wouldn't be a problem. Now the second part of this video is of course printing, but in previous videos you've seen me print with my mimeograph sort of kit that I, I set up myself out of some bits of wood. So I'm going to use it with a goko. Now for those of you that don't know what a goko is, I'm going to show you in a second. It's a, a, a ridiculously over-engineered little Japanese toy, but the basics of it are absolutely lovely. So I can use this screen in the GoCo screen, which is what's in front of me here. You can see here, like the red color, I added a bit of lemon juice to the to the paste. And you can see it's a it's just a gorgeous color, and you'll see in my first print that it's actually really pinky. Uh, let's go, let's see. Look at that. Isn't it? What a great colour. Now what I pointed out there was a little splodge at the side. Um, the splodge at the side is because this is only my second time printing with this. Um, and I didn't realise, of course, the print, the print surface, the size, needs to be inside that sponge at the bottom. Because the way this works is it pushes down onto a sponge and pushes the ink through onto the paper and the edge of it 
wasn't quite lined up with the sponge. In the second colour, I added uh, bicarbonate of soda, and you can see how wonderfully different the colour is. You'll see in the first print, it's just from that pink all the way down into a completely different colour, into a blue, is mad. Red cabbage should be, as all, from all the things I've read about it, should be what's called a fugitive colour. Now that means it probably will fade over time to a sort of grey. Now I've made this video several weeks after doing this, finding time to make it, um, and it's been several weeks and there's been absolutely no change in the colour. But I am intrigued to see maybe next year, um, I put one near, I don't really have a sunny area in my flat, but near the window, and I put a couple closed away, so we'll see what comes of that if they fade faster in the sun. But anyway, there's my little print, and uh, I hope you enjoyed it. <laughs>